Over here we have a part devoted to H.P. Hood, the Hood Company, which Mr. Hood came to Derry in 1850, having previously had a one-horse milk delivery route in Boston. He came here, and this is where he made it big. Chin's Restaurant was where Mr. Hood lived for uh, 50 years. There is, in, of course, in Derry today, we have Hood School, which the Hood family gave to the school, turnkey, I'm incomplete. We have two Hood Parks given by the Hood family. We have the Hood Pond that was given by him. Um, we have the Hoodcroft Country Club that was given by the Hoods. Uh, we have um, a charitable foundation set up by the Hoods. Our first hospital was given completely by the Hoods. So they were extremely generous to the town. How long did they actually stay in Derry? Uh, they stayed until 1989. It's, it's still the, big, it, the biggest milk corporation in, well, from Maine to New York to New Jersey. And uh, this is where, where it all begun. And, um, Are there any stories about them? And what does HP stand for? Uh, <laughs> Harvey Pearly Hood. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's buried up there at Forest Hill Cemetery, as is his father and, and mother. And the cow looking down at us, now that's Brown Bessie. Okay. In the background you can see the Hood House, which is uh, Chin's restaurant. Okay. And that cow went to the World's Fair in 1892, 1893, and beat every other cow in the world <laughs> in every competition, daily production, weekly production, monthly production of milk, butter, fat, and so forth. So that cow became the symbol of the Hood Company because it was recognized to be the best in the world. So um, every so often you will see a Hood truck going by which has Brown Bessie's picture on the, on the outside. Of course the problem is that your champion cow one year, you're Hamburg the next, so. Uh, we were rather a transportation hub. In fact, that's why H.P. Hood came here, because he could sh make all of his butter right by where the present municipal center is and have it delivered in Boston in an hour and eight minutes. There we see, I think it's the only one I know of, a Pillsbury flour bag. That was that frame thing once held, I don't know how, 50 pounds of Pillsbury's flour. Now that may seem like it's not worthy of this place, but you understand that that's Mr. Pillsbury of Derry. We have to go back ooh, years and years into the mid 19th century, and there were three Pillsbury's cousins from Sutton, New Hampshire. One came to Londonderry, and then his children to Derry, and did okay. The other two cousins went to Minneapolis and started the Pillsbury Flower Company. So our Pillsburys did okay for themselves. The other Pillsburys became super rich. <laughs> and uh, so for a while we had our own Pillsbury Flour Company, which I think they got their flour from Minneapolis and bagged it up here and sold it. Mm -hmm.